Hello everyone, my name is Claire Betker and I'm a long-standing registered nurse in Manitoba and I'm the president of the Canadian Nurses Association. I'm honoured to have this opportunity to wish you all the best during National Nursing Week and to acknowledge Indigenous Nurses Day on May the 14th. I'm speaking to you from my home in Winnipeg, Manitoba, where I have the privilege to work remotely as the Scientific Director of the National Collaborating Centre for Determinants of Health, located at St. Evax University in Anaganish, Nova Scotia. I'd like to start by acknowledging the land from which I am providing these greetings. I'm in Treaty 1, territory, the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota and Dene peoples, and on the homeland of the Métis Nation. To commemorate the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth, the World Health Organization declared 2020 the International Year of the Nurse and the Midwife. No one could have imagined when that declaration was made the significance of 2020 and the call that nurses around the world would so ably answer. This week is a time for the health system and the public to acknowledge and celebrate the significant role nurses play in our society. The theme for this year is Nurses, a Voice to Lead, Nursing the World to Health. While this theme was determined long before the World Health Organization declared the COVID-19 pandemic on March 11th, I cannot think of a more fitting theme for this time. In a few short weeks, the impact of the coronavirus on our country our work, our economy, and our lives has been far-reaching and staggering. What an extraordinary and unprecedented time we find ourselves in. And nurses have played and will continue to play a critical role in the response to the pandemic and in our recovery. Nurses have contributed in all health settings, including long-term care, intensive care, public health, testing centres, doing case and contact tracing, policy, and they have also participated in leadership and planning teams across the country. During these unprecedented times, we are forced to celebrate Nurses Week differently than we normally would and differently than we had planned. But the role of nurses, their sacrifices and contributions have never been more significant or more visible. I have said this many times in the past few months and I'll say it again. I have never been more proud to say I am a nurse. So on behalf of everyone at CNA, the Canadian Nurses Association, their staff, the officers and our dedicated, very dedicated board of directors, I want to thank you all for your leadership, for your commitment, for your knowledge, and for your caring, not only during COVID-19, but always. In closing, I want to encourage you to join in the local, the provincial, the national, and the global recognition and celebration of our profession during National Nursing Week. I know that there are many, many stories of the extraordinary work of nurses in these most extraordinary times. So raise your voice and tell your colleagues, the public and politicians, just how important nursing is for the health of individuals, of families and communities in Canada and around the world, not only now, but into the future. So please stay safe. Enjoy National Nursing Week, and again, thank you.